Yeah, I, I just set up a project interviewing local businesses. And the first few interviews, all I used was my phone, basically. Uh -huh. I had uh -huh. my phone and I had two, two headsets connected into my phone. And that, that was it. Right. Uh -huh. And if you are an organized, big organization like, the, I don't know, the BBC or CNN or something like that, the cost of doing this is hundreds of thousands of pounds. Right. And the, the, the real cost now with technology of doing it is zero. Uh -huh. the, the real cost is zero because you can do it with a mobile phone. Right, you you can do it with a mobile phone, yeah. and I'm I'm trying to explain this to, to businesses, and they, they don't they don't get it. They're like, we need to pay three thousand pounds for an advertisement. I'm like, no, you get your phone and you turn on the video and you talk into it, and then you click post on social media, and you get your you get your message out in thirty seconds to the entire planet, and you save money, you save time, you save energy, you save stress, you save uh, the planet. If you care, if you care about the planet, right? <laughs> you know, that's uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, less meetings, less travel, less fuel. Um, it's it's all it's all there. It's all there, and people are people are still not using it. People are still flying halfway around the world to have a meeting. The more you spend, the more important you feel. So um, it, it, you're you're right. They, they they do they do it because <laughs> they do it because they can do it, but they don't actually need to do it. Um, and that that's a whole you know principle and sort of life orientated philosophy. Yeah, uh, where every everybody walks. Life is like a supermarket. Everybody walks in and you pick and choose what you want to take. Uh -huh. Yeah, some people go to the fruit and vegetables. Some people go to the dairy. Some people go to the chocolate. Some people go to the processed food. Some people go to the cheeses. Some people go to the alcohol. Some people go to... Um, um, I don't know, some people go to the cheap section. Some people go to the expensive section. Like Life is... Life is like a supermarket, and I guarantee you, mm -hmm. you go into any supermarket and you look into somebody's basket or trolley, and you will see their whole life. Right? You can you can tell a person's whole life from what is in their basket or their trolley in a supermarket, because mm -hmm. because that's everything. Because what you feed your body is the fuel for your life. What you what you put into your body dictate dictates everything that happens. And then, this is coming from a person who's been on both sides of the fence, right? Mm -hmm. If you look at people who look unhealthy, some people look unhealthy, some people look healthy, and you look at what they're buying, they're buying unhealthy foods. Mm -hmm. they're, they're buying they're buying uh, too many sugars, they're buying too many processed goods, and there's not enough nutrition. And yeah, you know the the best reason to split up split up with somebody is because they're looking for vegetables in the fruit section. Yeah, because that's because that's, that's life, right? I mean, that's that's, yeah. that's synonymous of life. Yeah, it's it's. Why is there no beach at the top of this mountain? Because you're at the top of a bloody <laughs> mountain, for God's sake, right? Yeah. 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 Why is it not raining? Mm. There's no clouds in the sky. Oh, okay, I get it. Right. Yeah. Well, kids understand. You don't. You don't. You don't see kids buying huge amounts of things that are essentially bad for them. Bad for themselves. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, the kids. Kids understand. You don't see kids with with prejudice. You don't see kids destroying destroying the environment. You don't see. Uh, you, you don't see kids hating on people, um, and then being violent in general. So um, the, mm -hmm. the, the the kids understand, and um, as, as we grow up, we forget. We forget. Yes. We forget that there's. Uh, um, we forget that there's more 
uh, it's a contradiction. We forget that there's more that we know, right? We just block, we block out things in the back of our mind and just say, oh, well, you know, somebody else's problem, somebody else will deal with it. And not, and it, it's like, no, no, we're all in this together, actually. <laughs> and a lot of what we do in life is uh, is, is mirroring from, from, from health to, to all forms of communication. If the... Uh, if the, you you fight because all you know is how to fight because that's all you've ever seen, right? The skills that we have are based on the principles that that we've experienced. All we have is our experience. It, it's the number one most important thing in our life. So, if we've experienced it, we can understand it. But if we can't, but if we haven't experienced it, it's very complicated to understand. Uh -huh. it. it is it is possible, but you have to go into philosophy and you have to be able to see things from many different perspectives at the same time um, which is something that not a lot of people can do because we we choose sides and when we choose sides we reject things and when we reject things we're not open to other possibilities okay. uh, now sometimes in some situations, we have to choose sides because we have to make decisions. It's not always bad, but we have to be aware. If you work here, you can't work there. Right? Yeah. More time on this is less time on that. Uh huh. Yeah. More time with these people is less time with those people. Uh, is it the cake? Um, you can have your cake, but you have to be aware that there are many different kinds of cakes and you don't want to, you know, cake's a great analogy because it's difficult to bake a cake because mm -hmm. you know, it can go wrong. You have to have the right ingredients. You have to have the right preparation. I, I see it from the perspective that you have to eat it. Mm-hmm. It's like you, you, you make your bed, that's where you sleep, right? So um, mm -hmm. it's not that you can't have your cake and eat it. It's that you have to eat your cake because <laughs> that's your life, right? You can't step back and just observe yourself. You have to experience everything. So... Um, um, I, I, I'm not sure that it's practical to apply you can't have your cake and eat it because that that for me falls into the category of rather obvious and stupid statements like you can't sit in two chairs. Yeah, but what the fuck does that mean, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know, that, that's cause somebody said that to me once. You know, you can't sit in two chairs. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? I mean, I'm not trying to sit in two chairs, right? I mean, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to live my life, right? And 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 obviously, um, um, you 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 have to make decisions. So, I think that uh, I think I think that the problem is you have to eat your cake, and uh -huh. um, that's that that's the key point. You can't just sit and look at it. You you at some point you've got to dive in. You you you, know, you prepare everything, study the information learn as much as you can. But even that is just like reading a book about swimming. Yeah. You, you, you don't learn to drive a car by riding a bicycle, right? I mean, you, you, you have to do, you have to do the, the activity. It's, uh, it's nice to listen and, and take, take in diff different opinions, but, um, the, the practitioner is, the, the executioner in life. It, the practitioner gets gets things done. You fail your way to success, right? Uh, uh -huh. Thomas Edison, Nicholas Tesla, right? Constant experimentation, um, trying, tr trying, trying new things. Yeah, no, understanding what works and, and, and building on it. Um, <laughs> years ago, Don't somebody. Give up. Yeah, don't give up. Years ago, somebody told me there's no point getting older if you're not going to get wiser. And there's some truth in that. Years ago, it was one of my students. 
what do my students say? There's no, and obviously they weren't, they weren't thinking about what they were saying. They were just repeating what they heard somebody else say, but, mm -hmm. but it, it, it resonated in my mind. And I was thinking, gosh, that's such a, that's such a good lesson that I need to employ within, within, within my own life. You've got to see, you got to see growth happening. Yeah. Which is, uh, which is difficult. It, we're like sharks. You stop swimming, we die. So um, we have to keep uh, moving forward. We have to keep momentum. We have to keep feeling. That's why we have emotion. E motion. 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 Right. Movement. Yeah. The the feelings are important, but. Uh, the, the feelings should exist to move you and movement should also create feeling at the same time. So uh, it's not a passive state. Yeah. It's not about what you do. It's about what you, f what, it's, sorry, it's not about what you feel. It's about what you do to feel and then what you do when you feel. Yeah. Um, you know, the, too many people rest in this men mentality that um, the most important thing is, is, is how you feel. The most important thing is to be happy. No. It's, sorry, it's, it's not. It's progress. Because ha uh -huh. ha happiness is a daily roller coaster for uh -huh. everybody and can be affected by friends, the weather, the environment, chocolate. Um, 